Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I will show you step by step how you can easily use Expensify. If you're starting out you will have also a link down below in the description that you can click on and then start with me. So the first thing that we are going to do, we are going to sign up together. So I'm going to click here, would you like to connect with the email? Of course, you can guys connect with the phone number, Google or Apple, that's up to you. I'm going to add email address. Okay, next. Welcome, it's always great to see new face around here, join. And now let's wait until it goes. So first thing first, what we can find here. Would you like to get started with our free plan? Get started. Let's wait until it loads. And you have plenty of things here. So uh, what you can do guys is like, are you here to set up for a business or just for yourself? So let's go for the business. But again, you can choose which one you want. Okay, I don't need help. Now, what will you use Expensify for? Choose as many as you like. So let's say pay bills, send invoices, manage expenses, submit. And now, look at this. This is someone who can help you. So uh, what I can do is click on the left side and go that way. See also the new Expensify. There is uh, also the option when you would write like new Expensify.com. You would find some invoices, pay bills right here on the right side too. But let's go with the concrete, if I read it correctly. And let's click here, create my first invoice. Now, as you can see, we're right here. So again, I can go on inbox and go back. I can click on expenses and add expenses right here. Go on reports and create uh, invoices here. But we will go step by step this way. So reports, invoice, and I can open it or edit it. So what you can do is to uh, have an invoice here that you can change the name from. This is my myself. You can simply add a supplier address. So I'm going to also zoom in better so we can see it. What number? And then nothing to report. To add expense, click add expenses. So when you're going to click in on invoice right here on the middle, you can simply add expense. Now I'm going to add a new expense and now merchant name. So let's say Autocar JetBlue total 1000 euro and you have option to change also the currency, change the date here and you have also option change the category. and let's say office supplies and description. You can also add more attendees. Now you can change the distance where you can change the rate, the amount, the category, the description, and also uh, you can multiply it. And you have options to do that too. Now when I have it, I can also click here and no documents found. So you can upload a photo here and click save. Now when you got it, as you can see, we have our first invoice. We have the merchant with total of 1000 in office supplies and I can write some something. Now when you have it and when you finish with your invoice, you can simply click send and you can send it to someone, CC, memo and due date. And this is pretty much it how you do it. So this is how you simply create invoice in Expensify. Now when I go even further, so this is just the beginning. See, invoice. Now you can now track a pro and pay bill straight from Expensify. And now people can send to you uh, the bills and you can easily pay it. So that's something you can do too. Now when we go further even, you can have option to invite someone. So manually enter. And again, right here, you can copy share a link or you can enter someone the email address and invite them. So this is how we can invite someone to Expensify. Now further even, you can add, add a business bank account to reimburse employees, pay bills and get approved for expensive card. So you see 
you can have it here, RCH reimbursement and invoice bill payments. Now you have also option to you want to see or export accounting package. So let's say you're using Xero, QuickBooks or some software, you can combine it with Expensify. And now I'll assist you in by batching up any new employee receipts. How often should I submit receipts on their behalf? Once a day, every Sunday, one of first and 16 once a month, again you choose. Or let employees choose when to submit. And now how often do employees reveal expense to clients? So my recommendation definitely guys go uh, step by step and fill everything here based on your business that's what i would definitely recommend for you to do now when you have the inbox here and we are finished with inbox we can go further on expenses and this is where you can add expense you can go on the top right and now you have option when you're going to click on expenses on the top right click manually create then you can scan the receipt create multiple or you can have distance create from map or manually create so I can click here on expense and click here manually create. And this is something that we already did. So I'm not going to do it again, but this is how you can simply add a new expense. Not through the reports, but through the expenses. Now, when I go further on reports, I can have expense report, invoice or bulk import invoices. We learned already how we can easily create invoice. And this is what you can do, right? And we already have the report. Now, when you have it, we can go also to settings. And we can go to account. And where we can uh, enable two factor, merge accounts, have a preference here. So our value widget, you can add units here, export formats, and you can really edit what you need for your business. Now, if you're going to have any questions, guys, about Expensify, don't hesitate me and ask me down below in the comments. And if I know the answer, I will be happy to help you. Of course, when you would write the new Expensify right here, like I did, you can have a workspace and then uh, you see on the right side. So you can general settings. You can issue cards, but you need to uh, connect your bank account reimburse expenses you can pay bills you can book the travel manage members and you can simply invite people here so as you can see the expensify is pretty simple tool that you can use for your business now again guys if you can have any questions i'm gladly going to help you and provide you some feedback and guidance you know how it goes and yeah, so that's pretty much it uh, thank you. Have a great day, guys, and goodbye. See ya.